Hi, my name is Charlie Greenberg and I'm the Running Archer. And in this video, we will make huge comparison of three amazing bows. All of them are in my collection. And today we will be talking about Turkish bow, short Turkish Sipahi bow and Assyrian bow. All of them are from wagbows.com and bogararchery.sk because they are my partners and I'm making photos and videos for them about their products. And I made this comparison as a part of video I made specifically as a review for long Turkish bow. And I felt like I want to make a separate video about this comparison because maybe you're looking for the best possible bow. If it's for running archery or just archery as you like it, doesn't matter because you maybe are in the middle of these and you're not sure which one is the best solution for you. So I hope that this comparison will help you. Without further ado, let's dive right into it. This comparison will help us to understand more, let's say, in complex side of view we can talk more about accuracy, about speed, about handling, about handshake and many other things. So you can maybe easily find out which one is the best solution for yourself. So I'll prepare my target, my shooting range and we can start. Of course I placed GoPro near the target so you will see the results because right now we are talking about aiming because I'm used to use this bow for last three days exclusively. I'll start with this one. I'll shoot with five arrows, my style of shooting, and I will be more focusing on aiming. So I will not be that quick as you used to know me and I will focus on aiming, on the quality of aiming. So let's start. This bow is pretty fast. And pretty good, great in a hand, very comfortable. Four out of five. And the first shot was just a little out and it was my first shot today. I haven't practiced before shooting this video because I believe that if you know how to shoot, you can do it in the midnight without practicing and you will do it. So four out of five are in a black. This bow is amazing for aiming. I believe that this one short shooting is the proof that it's so good. For the second round, I will shoot with this beautiful short Turkish Sipahi bow. Uh, it's 43 palm bow. It's a little harder than I'm used to use. I use more like 38, 37, which are two other bows, but I like it very much. So let's see accuracy. Ho ho! I have never had that good grouping in my life. Let's check it out. It was the first shot, second shot, third, fourth and fifth shot. All of them are in a black and these three arrows are like there are millimeters between them. Millimeters, they're at the same spot. So even this bow is amazing for aiming. And now the third is my very favorite Assyrian bow. I love this bow very much. It's so lightweight, only 290 grams. String length is like 125 or 20, 21, 25, something like this. Very good bow in a hand, small grip, so I can hold lots of arrows in my hand. Great one. So let's try how it aims. What to say, what to say, you see it. It's amazing. It's so good, it works nice. I know that the results don't look as good as with the Sipahi or Turkish bow, 
but the feeling of aiming is very close and almost very the same so all of these bows are great for aiming right now i'm shooting like from seven meters so i'm sure that if i will shoot like from 10 12 15 20 meters all of these bows will perform the same because they are amazing they are good the arrow pass is really narrow so you can aim amazingly great love these bows all three bows are great for aiming so if you think about which bow will be better to aim all of them are good it's in your hands right now i want to run the test about hand shock hand shock is something i consider being very important at least at the running archery because you need to have as much possible comfort within your hands so let's do the same lineup Turkish then Sipahi then Assyrian I'll shoot one arrow with each bow as fast as you as I can in a line and we can compare the hand shock Sipahi Assyrian it's clear the most comfortable bow about hand shock is a Syrian bow. It almost has the no hand shock. It's very comfortable. Second place is this Turkish Sipahi bow. It has a little hand shock, just, just a little, but still very comfortable. It's okay. And the third place is this beautiful Turkish bow, which has hand shock like you feel it. It's not bad. It's okay. In, in comparison with bows from other brands and other types of bows, it's still okay. But if you are nitpicking, this one is for stronger men, I would say. Somebody with strong wrist, with strong hand holding. So I don't care. I'm okay. I'm fine. I, I, I didn't feel like this hand shock is too big. I didn't even think about hand shock before this test, so it's very okay. But if you want something that has almost no hand shock, like it's it's so like, like breezing wind, so the Assyrian wins. The other thing we'll do and we'll try is loading, because for my style of archery, for, for my running archery, is loading essential. I need to be quick, I need to have good comfort in my hands, while I hold the arrows in my bow hand and quick loading and quick shooting. So we'll test it out because all of these bows have completely different grip, different size of a grip. And it has a lot to do with loading and shooting. So I'll start with Turkish, then Sipahi, then Syrian. Five arrows, walking and shooting. Let's do it. Right now I risk a lot because I placed camera very near to the target. So if I miss, I mean, I mean miss badly, I'll destroy my camera. So I hope I'll be better than that. So first Turkish. It's not bad. It's fine, but the grip, as you can see, is big. And if I hold it with my hands, you can see, you can see it, I hope like this. When I hold it, there is not much space for the arrows. So yeah, five, six arrows are total maximum. More arrows will be very uncomfortable and very clumsy in my hands. So this is limiting. You only can shoot with six arrows and you need to have long fingers like I do. This glove is XXL size and I have really long fingers. Maybe that's a limitation for some of you. Right now, Turkish Sipahi. I'm used to have this. It has smaller grip. I used to use it. So let's see. The smaller the grip is, the more comfortable loading is. It's logical presumption, I would say. It's much more comfortable than Turkish bow. I can imagine having up to nine arrows with this type of a grip. Great for shooting, very comfortable, short, good action, good working with this one. So yes, if you want to hold more arrows in your hand, this bow is a little better than the Turkish. And the last of all is Assyrian with smallest grip of them all. 
I used to use this bow often and a lot and I can here use up to 12 arrows and let's do it. Wow, this bow is so great for running archery. I think that this one is almost the king of running archery bows because small grip, it's very subtle, it's very light in the hand, but you can still feel it. You can still feel the action, feel the shooting. It's a great one, it's a great one. But at the same time, because as I told you before, I have very long fingers, sometimes it's like slipping and sometimes it's like sliding in my hand. So holding the bow the way that I shoot, that I grip it all, all the time the same, and I know that the arrow will be like there all the time is sometimes hard because when I run you know you're doing jumps and stunts and whatever so sometimes my hand slips like this and I'm not that accurate because my muscle memory and my aiming is go haywire because you know every millimeter in in, in there means centimeters in the target so sometimes because it's too small too too narrow it slips and slides in my hand and the aiming is going wrong. But if I'm only shooting stationary or when I walk, this never happens and I know that I hold it correctly as I need it and I shoot perfectly. I love this bow. So we are at the end of our comparison day. First, we were talking about aiming. All bows are equally good. All there are amazing, great, perfect bows. I hit five out of five most of the time. And the first shot with the Turkish was out because I haven't shot today yet and it was just centimeters away. So let's say all of them are equally good in aiming. It's about your hands, about your style, about how you do it, not about the bow. Second, we were talking about the hand shock. And the strongest hand shock was with the Turkish bow because it's the Mo is the fastest bow of, of these three, so I think that it's based on this. But as I told you before, this hand shock is very small, something you will maybe don't even mention if you are not focusing on this. The best hand shock, like literally no hand shock, was with the Estrian bow and the Sipahi was somewhere in the middle. And our third competition was loading and shooting in a movement quick loading from the bow hand. There is a little problem that if you don't have long enough fingers, you will not able to hold more arrows in your bow hand with Turkish bow. So I have long fingers and I'm able to shoot with like six arrows at maximum. And uh, with Sipahi it's nine and with Assyrian it's 12. So if you want to carry more arrows in your hand, which is something I care about a lot, Assyrian wins and the Turkish was like the weakest one. But if you use hand quiver, back quiver, if you hold arrows in your right hand or whatever, and this means no problem to you, the Turkish is amazing, great bow. and I can totally recommend this. So which one of these would you choose? Would it be Turkish or short Turkish Sipahi or a Syrian bow? Which one suits you the best according to this video? Personally, me, I'm not able to choose one. I love all of them. They all have something specific. They are a little different in some things and I like to practice with all of them. A Syrian bow is a great bow if I want to practice running archery and I want to try new stuff. I know that this bow is reliable, it's lightweight and forgives me some of my technical mistakes. Short Turkish Sipahi is very strong, very powerful, it's shorter, so if I shoot somewhere inside of buildings for recordings for this channel, it's amazing because it doesn't take lots of space and I'm not hitting the walls and I can shoot properly. I love this. And if I want to practice and become better archer, stronger archer and step up my archery game, I shoot with longer Turkish bow because it doesn't forgive me anything and I need to focus and I need to shoot as best possible as I can. So all of these bows 
have some specific approach and are giving me something specific, something special into my archery. So put down in the comments which one would you choose and why or which bow do you shoot and why you find it out the best possible bow for you. Until then, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and I'm looking forward to see you in the next one. Have a great time.